Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is 3K8Gaming, and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be talking to you about some quick and easy ways to make $1 million an hour in GTA 5 Online. Now, if you guys are a little skeptical about this, then I definitely understand, because all you guys are thinking, it's probably another one of those unlimited money glitch scams, and he's probably just going to take all our cash and run away into the desert and buy himself a beautiful house, along with a pool and a hot tub and uh, everything that he could imagine. But no, boys, don't you fret. That is not how it's going to be. But anyways, before I get any farther into the video, I want to go ahead and ask you guys, you could be ever so nice, support the video with a like. And also, if you guys are brand new here, then don't forget to subscribe, because I do upload the latest and greatest GTA 5 content in the whole Milky Way galaxy. Anyways, guys, with all that out of the way, let's get right into this video. Alright, so as I was saying in the introduction, there's... There's some easy ways to make money in the brand new Cunning Stunts update, and for those of you guys that are broke, like all the other GTA 5 players out there, then it's going to be harder for you guys to go ahead and make some money in GTA 5 Online, and I completely understand that, dudes. I completely get that you guys are broke, that you don't have the cash to head out to the uh, your local GameStop or your local Walmart and buy uh, GTA 5 Shark Cash. I completely understand. Because one time, dudes, I was at that position too. I didn't know what to do. I had no money in the DLCs. And every time the brand new DLC would come out, I would just be sad. Because all my friends would have the brand new content. And then a brand new update would get released. And I'd still be buying the old content. But anyways, dudes, if you don't want that to be you, then listen here. Listen more to me. Because I have some easy, quick money tips for you guys to get in GTA 5 Online. And these money tips are all legit and easy to do. Alright guys, so if you don't know, in the brand new Cunning Stunts update, they actually did have these things called Premium Races. And it's marked by a little yellow sign with a money symbol inside of it and some flames. And it's usually available in the Legion Square area along with the Power Play Adversary mode that Rockstar Games added. So if you guys don't know how those wor races work, then basically all it is is you and eight other people head into the race and you all pay $20,000, and the winner of the first place in the race gets $100,000. Yes, I'm not exaggerating that at all. The winner of that race does get a full 100000 whopping GTA 5 dollars in their bank account added to their server and added for them to be able to play. So guys, the races usually take about 6 to 10 minutes, depending on how many laps it's set to, and pretty much if you guys can either find a group of 8 friends and start up one of these jobs yourselves, and you guys can invite all your friends and just say, hey, I need, I need to win this one, you and your friends can take turns putting in your money, and you guys can do that. Or... If you guys don't have that type of luxury with eight friends, if you guys are like me and nobody wants to ever play with you on the PlayStation 4 and nobody responds to your Twitter DMs and you, you just have a very sad life, then all you guys have to do is just buy a car that I found in GTA 5 Online and pretty much it's called the RE7B. Now, what's pretty interesting there with the RE7B is that it's actually faster than most cars, and if the premium race happens to be a supercar race, then you are set. You don't have to worry about anybody catching up to you, but what happens if it's a different race? What happens if it's a muscle car race or something like that matter, and you want to figure out how to get that $100,000 cash prize that you've always been wanting? So pretty much, dudes, I have a tip for you. I have a tip and a trick ready, coming up the sleeve, for you guys to be able to use into GTA 5 Online. So all you guys have to do is you just have to make sure that you're working very hard and concentrating very hard on the race itself, because the main reason why most people don't get first is because they're either distracted, whether it be with their Twitter or Facebook, or their Skype, or they're talking into a microphone and making a cringy YouTube video for their 202 subscribers. I, I don't know, dude. But a lot of people are distracted in their GTA 5 online racing, and it leads to them losing $20,000 and only gaining a bit of reputation points into their GTA 5 online accounts. So I here am going to tell you how to do that. Your good old pal, 
Mr. TRSKSS, is finally going to be here, ready to show you how it's done. And pretty much all you guys have to do is if you guys are concentrating on the race, going as fast as you can when you have a straight line, when you're going through a tube, you're going as fast as you can. If you're taking the corners a little slower, then you guys should have no problem staying in the first place spot, especially if you guys are have a fully maxed out car or bike and you guys are ready to go play the race. Then you guys should have no issue at all staying in the first place spot and you guys should have no issue claiming your $100,000 cash prize at the end but I, I know how that goes everybody thinks I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate and win and then there's always that one jerk that comes up from behind you that swerves you off to the whole track so pretty much dudes when the race is first starting everybody likes to turn on their turbo and they all like to go up in front of each other and it turns into a big mess so this is what I recommend if you want, and you're in the first place spot when the race originally starts, then go ahead and turn your turbo on. If you aren't, then do not use turbo until everybody starts to crash out, because then all you have to do is just boost up your turbo, hold down that acceleration button, and boom, you're already in to the first place spot in GTA 5 Online. So guys, that is some of my tips and tricks that I have, and another quick and easy way for you guys to make just a little bit of one million dollars in an hour is obviously by playing those races if you guys since they only take about 10 minutes if you guys play 10 of those races then that's about a hundred minutes so it's a little over an hour and you guys can go ahead and get one million dollars in your GTA 5 account add it in just from a premium race and yes you guys are getting it all legitimately so the dudes at rockstar support can't go ahead and take away your cash but anyways guys i have another little tip and trick that you guys can go ahead and use and that's with the brand new time trials so for those of you guys that didn't know rockstar games actually has some time trials added into the gta 5 online community and the players are actually having a good time playing them if they can figure out how to beat them so for those of you guys that don't know what a time trial is, it's basically where Rockstar Games says you have 1 minute and 25 seconds to get to this area, and if you guys can get to this area in 1 minute and 25 seconds, then we'll go ahead and give you $50,000 or $75,000 and a bunch of RP. And so all the players head over there to try it, but most of them can't do it. So in this one, we're going to be talking about the Del Perro Pier. So all you guys have to do is head on over to the Del Perro Pier, which I'm sure that you guys know where that is, and all you guys have to do is start up the little purple time trial that's known as Del Perro. And basically what it's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you to go about three miles through the highway, through the rocky terrain in the uh, mountains, and you guys are going to be able to go and use your cars and your bikes and get up to the mountains and finally get your $51,000 that you've been waiting for for all these years. But it sounds a lot easier than it looks. So what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to get one of the faster bikes in GTA 5 Online. Whether that be a baddie, whether that be the BF400, whether that be the cliffhanger, I don't know what types of bikes you guys think are the fastest, but whatever bike you think will serve you well, you're going to want to buy it off of Legendary Motorsports or Southern San Andreas, customize that bad boy out, and then you are going to want to drive along that route. Now, a quick little tip is that when you guys are stuck on the highway, you're going to want to choose either the left or right side and not go right through the middle of the traffic because obviously if you guys go through the middle of the traffic, the people on the Los Santos Highway are going to go ahead and smack you and you will fall off and that'll be the end of you. That'll be the death and Rockstar will say, no sir, no way Jose, you can't be getting that cash into GTA 5 because you failed the time trial. So guys, those are the two biggest tips and tricks that you guys can use to get a little bit about a million dollars in about an hour if you guys are just efficient enough and doing these missions and races over and over again. Now here's a few other smaller tips. So basically guys, with the brand new stunt races, the ones that are Rockstar created, Yes, not the player created ones, because I know that there are some of those. The Rockstar created ones. All you guys have to do is just play those, whether it be by yourself, whether it be with a few friends. And you just have to figure out if your friends are nice enough to let you get the first place. And if they are, then you guys can go ahead and take turns getting cash added to GTA 5. 
I played a race the other day, and the first place winner got $50,000. Yes, $50,000 plus his betting, so he made about $70,000 in just that race, which was pretty insane, to be honest. So if you guys think that 70000 sounds like a good deal to you, then put your PSN down in the comments. And hopefully some of you guys out there on your PSN or Xbox systems, the whole community can unite and get the other unfortunate players some more money. My last recommendation of the video is if you guys are very confident that you're going to win, then make sure that you do bet the highest amount that you can. Because if you guys do end up winning, you are going to get a good amount of cash back, whether that be 7000 10000 3000 I don't know, guys. But anyways, dudes, I really hope that you did want to enjoy today's video. As I said, I'm your host with the most, 3K8 Gaming, and I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys did go on to enjoy the video, then make sure that you do drop a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, because I want to hit 300 subscribers, dude. And also make sure that you guys, that you do go ahead and leave your PSN and Xbox names down below so that way the community can all join up and get you guys millions of dollars so that way you will no longer be the broke kid from uh, Apple Boulevard that can't afford anything in GTA 5. Anyways guys, this is 3K8 Gaming and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.